With me today are Lee Franklin, Open Table Committee Chair of the Local Management Board, and Larissa Thomas, Congregational Coordinator of the Centerville United Methodist Church. Welcome, ladies. Thank Lee, you. Lee, can you tell us a little bit about your Open Table program? Sure. Larissa and I are here to share a little information about a big, important project called Open Table. Open Table's mission is to move people in poverty or people who are at risk of moving into poverty out of poverty and into independent situations. What makes the Open Table Project unique, I believe, is its goal to be transformational rather than transactional. Think about the many efforts we make to help people in need. We organize canned food drives, we collect perishable food, we set up food pantries, for example, People are thrilled to get this food, but then the people need the food the next week, and then again next week they need the food. And the transaction changes their lives for brief moments, but not permanently. And they continue to remain in poverty and dependent. Imagine how exciting it would be if we could actually transform their situations and move people in poverty out of poverty and into independence. This is what we believe is wonderful and worthwhile about Open Table. The Open Table, it is a chance for a congregation to come together and to use the people's existing life skills they already have and their vocational skills and to help somebody, a brother or sister who is in poverty to become the best that they can be. It is based on a model which has six to 12 people, and it depends on which of the model is how many people actually sit on the table. And there are several different models that Open Table uses poverty, the working poor, the homeless, and the young adults aging out of the foster care system are their main models, but they also have other models like the veterans, helping veterans, um, prisoners that are being released, and survivors of human trafficking. They're starting one of those models in the Baltimore area. That's wonderful. Um, how, how long has Open Table been ex in existence? It's been around since 2005. It started in Arizona, and it started, it was just an accident of a chance interaction with a homeless man. And now it is spread to over 17 different states, over 50 cities, and it is now in over six counties on the Eastern Shore. And they're actually expanding into the Baltimore area, Howard County and Hartford County. Well, that's terrific. Uh, have there been any success stories so far here in Queen Anne County, or is the program still too new here? We're actually in the starting phase. We have been working with a brother since December of 2014. So we are in six months. We've had some great milestones working with a brother, but we are still on this journey with him. Uh, some of the milestones have been we've been able to network and help him get a job. And our biggest challenge has been the driver's license. Most of the youth in the foster care system don't have the ability to get a driver's license because you need 60 hours behind a wheel. And that is a huge task to somebody in the foster care system or for somebody as a foster care giver. So we have been really coming together to work on that and we're hoping our brother gets his license in the next month. Very good, very good. Lee, uh, can you expand a little bit more on what's required in the program or how does someone get involved in the program from the standpoint of, I need help, how, who do I go to to get into your program? Well, for somebody in need, I think the best way to get involved would be to call social services. Okay. And then social services, we have a wonderful relationship with social services. So social services would, would refer them to us. All right. Uh, um, Larissa, can you tell us if um, someone wants to get involved, to volunteer, to help out, how would they get involved? Well, definitely, I would be glad to be their contact. Um, we, and I would, too. We mm -hmm. have different information sessions that we've been running. Right now, it is mostly in the faith-based community because um, the congregation comes together um, to make this community for the person, the brother or sister they're working on. Um, 
so we do different presentations. We had presentations throughout the county and in other counties where we've explained the model uh, so that people a little just get a little more information about it. Very good. I understand that part of it is a mandatory once a week meeting that you have with your so-called brother or sister. Um, can you tell us a little more about that? Sure, sure. The reason that we like this model is because it is very well structured. Um, part of being able to help have this individual transform their lives is you have to first of all start with the trust and the relationship building. In order to have that trust and relationship between the brother and the sister and the table members, you need to meet weekly, regularly, so that they know that you are on their side so that they will come to trust you and ultimately to listen to your advice. Uh, so you do meet once a week. Uh, we say that it takes, your commitment level is one to two hours per week for a year. That is what Open Table asks you to make commitment wise. Um, and in addition to those uh, weekly meetings, you're setting up that life plan with a brother or sister to help them. They decide what goals they want to do, and then you help them to reach those goals. And anybody who is interested in being a volunteer can contact us. You don't need to be a member of a, f a particular faith. Um, we welcome any v anyone who would like to volunteer to help. Well, along that line, how can they reach you? Well, my phone number is 410-643-2753. And that's Lee Franklin. My, uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. You want me, my email is jandlfranklin at gmail.com. Very good, thank you. Mine is, my phone number is 410-758-2144, uh, Larissa Thomas, and my email is l-a-r-i-s-a-t-h-o-m-a-s at hotmail.com. Good, thank you. Um, where do you go from here? I mean, obviously, you, you said tomorrow you're interviewing a congregation, I believe, that has an interest in setting up a table. We're bringing together Larissa's uh, pastor and Larissa and members, some members of uh, her church who are on her open table, together with a church on Ken Island, church members on Ken Island and their pastor and the Ken Island congregation is interested in starting their own. Oh, I see. So we're bringing them together and uh, getting ready to launch one on Ken Island. Wonderful, wonderful. And then uh, your congregation is interested in another one, starting another one soon, too. We're actually in the process. We are in the referral stage, so we have a second table that is ready to launch. We I are was going to ask that, if the congregation could have more than one table. Yes. Uh, the first one was the youth aging out of the out of the foster care system. And this one actually is going to be with uh, the working poor model, is what we believe we're going to be going for. So it's a slightly different model, and we're really excited to have that chance. We are just waiting for the referral. Everybody's been trained, so we're anxious to get started. Oh, I'll bet. So will you be working with the family, I think? Yes. Uh -huh. Typically, it's, it's the working poor could be anywhere from a single parent or uh, along with some children in the household. But it's not just an individual. It can be an entire family. Yes, it can mm -hmm. be an entire family. And that's why we have the larger tables with up to 12 people, because when you have a family, you have more people you need to support, of especially course. if you have the children involved and, and child care to take care of. What, typically, what type of people would make up the table? Who, who are the people that are on the table that are trying to help this individual or this family? We have, it's a wide variety, and the wider the variety, the better, because you get these people from all different types of life, different ages, different backgrounds, and they all come together to use their knowledge to help a brother or sister. So we have, we try to have from the young people to middle age to um, grandparent type age people on there. Um, this table we have a couple of couples working together which is a wonderful example for a brother or sister especially in um, if it's a single family type situation to have a good interaction with a family in front of their eyes. Um, but it could be somebody with um, 
there's housewives on it, there's retired people on it, there are professional people on it, uh, people from all walks of life because everybody brings a little bit of different knowledge and all this different knowledge comes together to form the information that this brother or sister, this network that they don't have, they might not have been exposed to. I think that's incredible. I, I think mm -hmm. it's a wonderful concept. It's the you know, don't don't give a man a fish. Teach a man how exactly, to fish. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that is the idea. I think that's the wonderful. Goal. Uh, is there anything that maybe uh, you'd like to say to our TV audience? Everybody can get involved to make a difference, and it takes just standing up and and opening your eyes because it's all around us. There is homelessness and there is working poor in Queen Anne's County. Yes. And sometimes these people just need, sometimes transactions work, um, and there's lots of opportunity for that. But also these people need to have a chance to transform their lives so they can become what they're supposed to be. Well, good luck. And the transactions program. are really important, too. I, w I didn't, um, I, I uh, collect food. I have a, a program called Food Link with volunteers who go out to primarily grocery stores, and we pick up food and deli deliver it to churches and agencies that then distribute it to people in need. Um, and that program, I think, is, is great. But it is just um, a situation where we're not really changing the lives of those people permanently. Um, so that's what I love about Open Table. And um, the need is, tr is tremendous in Queen Anne's County. It's amazing. It, um, I think people don't realize uh, that their neighbor could, could need food, you know, somebody down the street. Um, we tend to think of homelessness, for example, as uh, being people who don't care, don't want jobs, don't, like, don't want to work, but that's not the case at all. And primarily the people, for example, who are coming to get our food are single parents, the working poor, people on uh, limited incomes. So um, there's tremendous need. Well, I want to thank both of you for coming in today and sharing this information with us. Uh, it's been very interesting, and I wish you well with your program. Thank, well, thank you. you. Thank you for thank having you. us. Yes, thank you for inviting us.